हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे सम इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर्मूलाज एंड इक्वेशंस ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस और इन्वायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग दैट आर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द सी पी सी बी साइंटिस्ट बी एग्जाम और एनी अदर एग्जाम दैट आर रिलेटेड टू द पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड सो द फर्स्ट वन इज द बायोकेमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड so the formula of biochemical oxygen demand is bod that is the unit of bod is the milligram per liter or we can say ppm part per million so d1 minus d2 divided by p d1 is the dissolved oxygen initial minus dissolved oxygen final divided by p p is a factor and that that is the volume of sample divided by volume of or we can say total volume and the another formula of uh, bod uh, at 5 days is the do initial minus do final multiply by the dilution factor when there is a seeding condition in the waste water in that case the bod formula is the bod is equal to do initial minus do final minus b1 minus b2 so b1 is the dissolved oxygen of the in the control condition when the seeding is done in the control condition and b2 is the amount of dissolved oxygen in the after the incubation uh, multiply by the f f is the fraction of seeding of the dilution water and divided by p p is also a fraction of the or we can say it is the volume of the sample divided by the volume of the uh, total volume of the sample the next formula that is related to the bod that is the population equivalent and unit per capita loading so p is equal to the bod load from the industries divided by 0.054 kg per inhabitant per day okay then is the another relationship in between the bod at particular time and ultimate pod so the bod t is equal to bod u into 1 minus e minus power minus k1 t and there is a relationship between the bod 5 divided by ultimate bod is equal to 2 by 3 that is almost 0.68 or we can say 68% so again this is a very important formula or we can say important relationship among the ultimate bod and bod at 5 days now in the municipal waste water the value of cod is almost 1.6 times more as compared to the bod5 so cod is almost equal to 1.6 bod5 the ultimate nitrogenous bod is equal to total gel dal nitrogen and multiply by the 4.57 4.57 again this is a very important formula okay the total oxygen demand is equal to cbod plus nbod cbod means carbonaceous bod plus nitrogenous bod the next formula is related to the froude number so the froude number is mainly related to the stratification of the lakes it give the idea about about the stratification of the lakes so the formula of froude number is f f d is equal to v divided by g d okay that is the inertial force divided by the gravitational force if the value of frode number is more than 0.32 means there is no stratification in the lakes if the value is less than 0.32 but more than 0.01 in that case there is moderately stratification if the value is less than 0.01 then there is a strong stratification in the lakes now the next there are some formulas related to the gaussian plume dispersion model so here you can see this is the basic equation of the gaussian plume model the next equation is that there is a relationship between the wind speed changes with the elevation so height ke sath wind speed mein kya changes aate hain unka ye formula hai so uh divided by ua is equal to h divided by zda power p 
P is a dimensionless parameter. Okay, that depend on the surface roughness and atmospheric stability. This one. Then after H, this is the effective stake height. Okay, so the effective stake height is equal to delta H plus H. So delta H is the plume rise plus actual stake height. Now the formula of plume rise. So important formula of plume rise given by the Briggs. So the Briggs formula is different in the different conditions. So in the stable condition, delta H means plume rise is equal to 2.6 into F divided by U H S power by 1 by 3. So this formula is in the stable condition. And for the unstable and neutral condition. Delta H is equal to 1.6 F power 1 by 3 X F power 2 by 3 divided by U H. So these both formulas are very important. Keep in mind. Then after some formulas related to the noise. So the sound intensity level S I L. So I L is equal to 10 into log base 10 I. Divided by I note. So I is the measured intensity and I note is the reference intensity. Then after sound pressure level S P L is equal to 10 log power base 10 into P square upon P note square. So P is the measured sound pressure and P note is the reference sound pressure. So these are two formula related to the sound intensity level and sound pressure level. Now the next formula is the FM ratio. F divided by M ratio, food to microbes ratio. So this is formula mainly related to the activated cellar system. This is the system that is used for the treatment of the wastewater. So the formula of FM ratio is the BOD of sewage sludge multiplied by the influent flow divided by the reactor solids multiplied by the reactor volume. So, if the value of F and M ratio is greater than 0.03 but less than 0.32, it means the activated cellar system require extended aeration. If the value of this ratio is more than 0.8 but less than 2, it means it is a conventional activated cellar system. If the value is more than 2, here you can see the value is more than 2. In that case, high rate activation cellar system. required the next is the sludge volume index svi so the unit of sludge volume index is the milliliter per gram the formula of sludge volume index is the sv divided by mlss multiply by 1000 so sv means volume of settled solid in 1 liter cylinder after 30 minute and mlss means the mixed liquor suspended solid okay so a sludge has good characteristic if the sludge volume index range from 80 to 120 okay the sludge is 80 to 120 for a mixed liquor suspended solid range of 2000 2 3500 mg per liter so this is about the sludge volume index now the next formula is the maximum area required for the landfill suppose we want to uh, build a landfill site at a particular location so what will be the area of that landfill site so for the calculation of the area we require the value of average annual rainfall and required the waste input average annual waste input so formula of maximum area is equal to 0.12 into w divided by r so r is the average in, uh, average annual rainfall and w is the average annual waste input and 0.1 is the absorption capacity of the landfill for particular waste now the breakthrough time for leachate to penetrate a clay liner इन लैंडफिल साइट सो जो भी लैंडफिल साइट होती है उनके बेसमेंट में एक क्ले क्ले लाइनर 
की लेयर को स्प्रेड किया जाता है क्ले लाइनर की लेयर को बनाया जाता है तो उसकी लेयर को जो भी लिचेट होते हैं उस लेयर को पेनेट्रेट करने के लिए कितने टाइम की रिक्वायर है कितना टाइम लगेगा सो उस टाइम को कैलकुलेट करने के लिए ये फॉर्मूला है ठीक है सो टी इज इक्वल टू डी स्क्वायर इटा डिवाइडेड बाई के इन टू डी प्लस एच हेयर टी इज द ब्रेक थ्रू टाइम इन हेयर डी इज द थिकनेस ऑफ क्ले लाइनर इन द फिट इटा इज द पोरोसिटी के इज द हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टिविटी एंड एच इज द हाइड्रोलिक हेड सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट इनपुट वैल्यूज फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द ब्रेक थ्रू टाइम फॉर द लीचे टू पेनेट्रेट द क्ले लाइनर Now the next one is the destruction and removal efficiency (DRE). So the destruction and removal efficiency. This is related to the incineration process, or we can say for the incinerator. Okay. So it represents the number of molecules of a compound removed or destroyed in an incinerator relative to the number of molecules that enter in the system. So, एक सिस्टम में कितने मोलिक्यूल इंटर करते हैं और कितने मोलिक्यूल का डिस्ट्रक्शन हो जाता है उसी का ये परसेंटेज है सो डी आर इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू इन माइनस डब्ल्यू आउट डिवाइडेड बाई डब्ल्यू इन मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड सो इट आर दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन दिस वैल्यू रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द परसेंटेज सो डब्ल्यू आउट मीन दीज आर द फ्लो राइट ऑफ द Toxic pollutants or we can say PCB means polychlorinated biphenyls in the stay gases and W in the whatever the fluoride or PCB is being fed into the incinerator. Then after the next one, this is the efficiency of electrostatic precipitator. So the efficiency of electrostatic precipitator is given by a equation and this equation is known as Dusch-Anderson equation. Dost Anderson equation that is the eta is equal to one minus e power minus w into a divided by q. Here eta is the collection efficiency of precipitator. E is the base of natural algorithm. W is the migration velocity. A is the effective collecting plate area of the precipitator area of the Plates that is effectively collect the particulates, and Q is the gas flow through the precipitator, so we can say flow of the gases. So this is formula for the calculation of the efficiency of electrostatic precipitator. The next formula is the combustion efficiency of the incinerator. That is the equal to percent CO2 divided by percent CO2 plus percent CO multiplied by 100. so uh, friends there are some formula that is related to the climate change or we can say that is used for the calculation of different type of factors related to the climate change so the first one is the climate sensitivity factor lambda that is equal to delta t divided by delta q and the unit of climate sensitivity factor is the watt per meter square then after the feed gain factor g That is equal to one minus lambda b divided by lambda. Temperature sensitivity for doubling of CO2 concentration is equal to 4.2 lambda, and the radiant forcing efficiency factor E is equal to lambda divided by lambda CO2. Now the relationship between the energy, frequency, wavelength, and Playing constant, so E is equal to h nu, and it is also represented as E is equal to h c upon lambda. Here, h is playing constant, and the value of playing constant is six point six two six into ten to power minus thirty four joule second. C is the velocity of light that is three into ten to power eight meter per second, and lambda is the frequency now the disposal of treated effluents okay so whatever effluent is discharged into the river okay so what will be the final concentration of that particular material in the river 
सो सी इज इक्वल टू सी एस क्यू एस प्लस सी आर क्यू आर डिवाइडेड बाई क्यू एस प्लस क्यू आर सो सी इज द फाइनल कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ दैट मेटेरियल इन द रिवर सी एस इज कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ मेटेरियल इन सीवेज सी आर मीन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ आर मीन्स रिवर क्यू इज फ्लोर एट एस मीन्स सीवेज और आर मीन्स रिवर सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला for the calculation of the flow rate or final concentration of the material then after different air pollutants mainly like the sulfur dioxide methane nitric oxide carbon dioxide ozone they require the conversion from ppb part per billion to microgram per cubic meter or microgram per cubic meter to ppb okay so there is a formula okay this is very important formula concentration in ppb is equal to 24.45 multiply by the concentration in microgram per cubic meter divided by molecular weight of a particular gases so here you can see the first one is the ammonia so for 1 ppm of ammonia is equal to 0.7 microgram per cubic meter 1 ppb of carbon monoxide is equal to 1.15 microgram per cubic meter because all these things are changed according to their molecular weight okay 1 ppb of ozone equal to 1.96 microgram per cubic meter so here you can calculate the concentration either in ppb or in microgram gram per cubic meter now the next formula is the cyclone collection or particle removal efficiency so this formula is related to the cyclone cyclone is a device that is used for the removal of the particulate matter from the exhaust from any industries or any power plants so the efficiency is represented in the eta is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus dpc upon dp power 2 dpc is the diameter of particulate collection with 50% efficiency dp is the diameter of particulate of interest and it is the fractional particle collection efficiency now next one is this. there are uh, one or two formula related to the radioactivity so the half life of a radionuclide is equal t half is equal to 0.693 divided by k k is the rate constant okay and there is a, a, another term is the average half life and the half life so there is a relationship between the average half life and half life so the average half life is equal to 1.44 multiply by t half okay so this is again uh, both formula that is very important so friends uh, thank you so much for watching this video agle video mein fir milte hain tab tak ke liye namaskar